What's up guys, how is it going? No, it's not the morning. Yes, it is late afternoon. So, today's obviously been a little bit different. I haven't been filming all day. And yesterday's vlog was a little short one because obviously I went out and did a dog walk, but generally I haven't done anything per se. Now the reason behind that is, uh, whether I've mentioned it or not, I've been into the hospital to have a procedure done today which is friday um and whilst we were there they did a biopsy um of a like a, a, i think they call them polyps or a lumps there's different types of polyps anyway, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later so basically i wanted to sort of tell you a little bit without going into too much detail shall we say um why I was in hospital, uh, why I've had it done, and should you be worried, and should you be having yourself checked and stuff like this, or and what should you be worried about, per se, because obviously some of these procedures that they do, a lot of people say, oh, it's horrible, you don't do that, blah, blah, blah. Well, I can only give you one-on-one -on -one advice from my perspective, perspective, I can't even say it, from my, well, how I've had it, you know, what, what it was like. Um, so, without further ado, let's just jump into the nitty gritty. So, what is the procedure and what have I had done? So basically, I have had to have a camera placed in a place that you preferably don't really want but if you in doubt with anything or if you have any issues at all with any worries one always consult, consult your doctor speak to your friends family don't be ashamed of it you know at the end of the day everybody in the world at some stage will have a problem and if you're worried about it and you don't talk to anybody it could be you that doesn't get it caught in time and things like that. So this is your lower bowel, if you like, and this is basically your bum. Now this is the sigmoid bit, which is why I've had checked, and basically they insert a camera all the way up and they go as far as they possibly can. And what they found with me is they found some polyps so what they've done is they've actually taken out the polyps or taken one of them out and they're going to send it off for analysis now they're pretty confident and pretty happy that actually it'll be fine so what to expect if you have to go and have this procedure done i think the worst bit is is one you can't have milk in your coffee and two you basically can't eat for a day if you like so the procedure itself did not hurt whatsoever until the final stages if you like so don't worry about oh my god it's going to be the size of your arm or anything like that it's literally probably the size of your thumb you know and it's not that bad at all it was just uncomfortable now you can opt to have a sedation um, which you know if you're not sure about then you know go for it I didn't because I wanted to be back up on my feet as soon as possible and which meant I was in and out fairly quick even though they were held up I was in and out fairly quick um, but generally the procedure itself really good no dramas whatsoever um, uncomfortable yes should you not have it done definitely not if you need it done you get it done it's just not worth the hassle because it could be nothing or it could be something if it's something if you're early enough then they can sort it but I've been suffering for a few years now with uh, an irritable bowel and stomach problems and all sorts of things um, but obviously you don't see that because obviously you just see my happy smiley face but we all have these troubles now the only reason I am doing this video is because there's people out there that will, won't 
go and have these things checked, won't go and have their prostate exams, won't go and have their testicles checked, they won't go and have their breasts checked. Now, if any of you that are watching, don't be ashamed of it. Everybody has seen all of it before. Whether you're a woman, man, whatever. You know, everyone's got a piece of body, doesn't matter. Just get it looked at, get it checked. That's what these people are there for. So as I was saying, if you're gonna get yourself into a worked up state about something, don't go and get yourself checked. Because at the end of the day, your health's more important. If you want to be able to keep looking at sunsets and beautiful countryside and doing your daily vlogs, even you big famous people, get yourself checked. Now, I'm happy to bear all for anybody if it, one person who's scared about going and getting the camera treatment and all the rest of it, if one person goes and has it done, fine, I'm pleased. But if you don't, it'll be on your own head. You know, you want your kids, your grandkids, your friends and stuff to spend time with you, then what more do you want? create more time don't waste time now a lot of my friends and family over the years I've lost due to different cancers and illnesses but and at the end of the day if you just get checked they could could save your life you know they're saving more and more people nowadays and it's just not worth the hassle just because your pride gets in your way. Now for me, obviously, mine's just a case of they've taken a polyp out, they're gonna test it. They're quite happy at the moment. They say it looks quite normal, quite fine, but better to be safe than sorry. It's better to waste someone's time and get it checked than not to waste their time and die. So, yeah. So, what can I say? get yourself checked now obviously I'm not the be all and end all and I don't have massive amount of people watching my vlogs but what can I say if you are watching this and you are nervous about having the procedure done one I didn't have any of the anesthetic I didn't get knocked out two it wasn't that bad and when I said that's as, that's as much as I can sort of take they were like fine stopped they took their pictures and then moved and because I didn't wasn't knocked out or anything I was out within sort of about 15 20 minutes afterwards so again it was fine um, the worst bit was is obviously you have to drink this solution and you're not allowed to eat and drink properly um, but just follow the instructions it's literally two sachets the day before you take it you go to the toilet um, the following morning you take it again you go to the toilet and that's it and by lunchtime for me by lunchtime I was in I was out and then I was home again so there we go guys that is why I have not done a proper vlog today however I've still managed to do a vlog if that makes any sense at all so if any of this has helped you guys I hope it does um, anybody that's got any kind of problems and that please 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 go and seek advice even if you just talk to your friends or your family and that they might be able to guide you and say look go and see a doctor and they might pressure you to get you to go and do it at the end of the day I'm not ashamed if I need to go to the doctor I'll go to the doctor and I go look I've got this problem and they'll go yeah fine woman man doesn't make a difference you've got to do what you have to do just to put it out there, when I did go into the surgery room, they were all women. <laughs> so that was quite a shock. I don't know, not that I was expecting maybe men, but they were literally all women in my side. So, and they were all ages, so it was lovely. It was, and they were all spot on, absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, so anyway guys, so I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I will try and put some links in the description or put some 
links to some advice um, and yeah get yourself checked um, before I actually sign off I will put this out there a few years ago I had a lump on my testicle and I was worried and I was a bit oh I've got a lump do I what do I do you know I'm a bit I'm oh, a man I don't want to do this war sort of thing I went in they had a feel sent me to the hospital they did an ultrasound said it's absolutely fine sent me home peace of mind done they said if it got any bigger or if it got any worse to let them know and then if it comes to it they'll take the cysts out but it turned out just to be a benign cyst and it was all fine but again it's one of those things you just have to grow some nuts and do it so and especially for like you women that are worried about your breasts and and other parts that are, you know get yourself checked I know it's uncomfortable I know it's not great but if you don't do it early enough you know you could be the unlucky one anyway guys I will speak to you tomorrow like and subscribe